we got so we got the throttle body cable ran and it's ran through the old hole on the firewall and it looked well so I think it was like a truck or an F body I can't remember which I remember I spent quite some bit of time on the old interweb searching about what I needed uh, and you can never really tell by the stock photos because you don't know if it's an actual picture of the cable or if it's just a picture of a cable and they'll send your cable so um, so I bought that and it does pretty well so the length is fine the problem that I'm having go in this glorious luxury vehicle Look at this. You see this? Oh, it tilts steering wheel. Man, it is plush in here, huh? So, the problem I'm having is that it is, you see this? Let me put the light down here. So, this guy is just a nipple thing. So, like, and I can't take that off. But it needs to go through this thing up, up here, which you probably can't see. There we go. So the pedal is here. So I need it to go up through here. And I think the easiest way probably to do this is slot that hole in the top maybe and just drop this in. And uh, hopefully it'll work but I'm not sure. So we'll try to stick it in the throttle body and we'll see how much play we got. I think that's probably a good place to start. Okay, so we are, we are on the throttle cable now and we're also on the floor. So I need this to be up. I think that if this is up and I pull it down we might be able to max it out but this guy's too long this whole mess is too long so i need to trim this guy and boy it sure would help to have a second hand here so i think if i get that front booger we'll be all right so how is this thing attached Probably complicated. Uh, from underneath, of course, because that's how I would attach it, is from the fucking transmission tunnel. <laughs> so let's get this thing up in the air, see how terribly complicated this is going to be. So there it is. And the other 10 mil, I'm thinking it looks like 10 mil is on the other side where you can't see and it is all right here behind the cylinder head which is a fucking ridiculous I'm sorry I'm trying not to cuss which is a seriously ridiculous place to put that so I don't know I'm gonna give it a shot maybe we can get it with a ratchet wrench maybe I can get it with a ratchet wrench I don't know we'll give it a shot see what happens this isn't gonna be on tape I probably could get that um, pedal out of there with those nuts that are behind the um, behind the cylinder head but I would never be able to get it back in I'm almost sure of that not without dropping the entire engine which hardly seems worth it so we're going to try to dremel a little slot in it and see what happens. See if we can get lucky. See if luck will shine on us today. We got this old hunk of shit. I know it's kind of deceptive because it was in a Milwaukee box. I looked all neat, but. I replaced my, this used to be my tungsten sharpener, and I replaced it with 
with a Milwaukee cordless, which is really nice. But that leaves my Dremel being a POS Black & Decker. I've once again managed to totally, totally either uh, work too much or over engineer or however you want to say it, doesn't really matter. So um, this guy, I couldn't really figure out what to do with it. I don't even know what I told you I was going to do last, but here's what I came up with is uh, I took a piece of aluminum and I drilled a hole in it that will fit this. So I can crimp it and I'm just going to go ahead and hit it with a die so I got quarter 20 threads on the end of it so I can sit it in there crimp it and then uh, stick it through the hole stick it in the throttle cable and I'll have a little adjustability on the end of it so all right so there we go we uh, tap that piece and or dyed that piece and we crimped it so it feels pretty strong so We'll stick it in there and smack the bejesus out of the throttle cable a bunch and see what happens. Oh god. After doing much, much upside down dog, we um, have a throttle that works. Just to check it, I'm going to record it. I'm also going to do it on my iPhone because I mean the handy cam is handy but it sucks for playing back shit so we gotta go there so let's see what happens Are you recording or not it's gonna help if I push the record button okay What's the verdict? All right, we got fully open and fully closed, man. That is a good deal. See, all this shit is really simple. <laughs> all right, all ready. I have to go join my wife at a party and it's six, so I think I'm already late and I need to take a shower first. So I'm going to wrap this up for the evening. But hey, we got the fuel system in, we got the throttle cable working. Uh, so I think we're up next is putting holes in the charge pipes for air intake sensors. And I think after that, that'll be the last thing that I can possibly do to put off before I have to actually start pushing wires together and figuring out what's hot and what's not and all that good stuff. So um, we will put some bungs in on some pipes. I think I'm going to try to do it by the charge pipe and one by the hot side over here. So I can, I'm sure there's, you know, a gajillion sensors on the gold box and it'd be kind of interesting just to monitor what's actually going into the turbo and what's coming out of the other side of the intercooler before it goes into the intake. So I think we'll weld uh, a couple of those things on and yeah, man, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how we're feeling. See what we're up to. I think we're, we're getting there. We're nugging it out. Bling. Bling. So I wasn't much in the mood for shooting video. But what I did is I went ahead and fixed this pipe earlier. You guys heard me talk about those little piece of pie that was missing off the front here uh, that just kind of left it. You, well, you can see how it was. So I added a little piece of pie on there. <coughs> and it's... <coughs> oh, fuck. So I added a little piece of pie on that guy. And it's pretty much flush with the intercooler now, so that's a good deal. And while I was at it, 
I went ahead and threw the bung for the air temperature, the, air, the intake air temperature sensor on it. And that's one less thing to do. So I think that I have to take and address this um, lower radiator hose situation. Oh, and I, what I did do was I found that uh, these guys here, I found, I, I originally had bought a kit um, just to keep things simple that had, and basically it had AN6 line here and it came with some fittings that adapted it from the transmission to the radiator or so I thought but this is what came on the radiator and it was you know these guys just wouldn't fit obviously uh, so what I was able to do is I, I realized I could take those out and I found out that this guy uh, I don't know it's like a 9 16 flare or something I can't remember exactly what it is but I just figured it out with my nut sizer <laughs> and uh, and uh, ordered that to an AN. So I got this guy to an AN fitting, an AN6 fitting coming. So instead of having to try to find a place to put this uh, trans core that I got, and uh, you see the dimensions here, even though it's upside down. Can I turn the camera upside down? Does that make it go? I don't know. But uh, it's uh, the biggest thing that was killing me is the depth of it. It was, it says five inches. It was more like six inches. Uh oh. I'm doing shenanigans with the, so um, it was a bit thick. It was just kind of bulky. So uh, I think the simple solution is just to run it up to the radiator and use the stock uh, transmission cooler that's designed to the radiator. I got a really big fan on this guy, and it's not, you know, for occasional burnouts and. Uh, and shenanigans it's not going to be I don't think it's going to be overtaxing either the radiator or the transmission <laughs> it's a 350 so maybe but uh, we'll see how it works out but I think that's a simple solution I'll just run those lines up to there to that I don't have to find a place to hang it, it just means I'm one more step closer to getting this project finished which is where I want to be so I think we'll jump on that um, radiator lower radiator situation probably tomorrow and that'll do us for tonight so this is mike with monkey fab i appreciate you dropping in checking out the videos and uh mike with monkey fab out